Hello, hello, hello. How many of you have ever felt hungry? Hungry, okay. Oh, you, you felt hungry now, okay. You felt hungry now? Okay. When you feel hungry, how many of you feel angry too? Easily get angry. Okay. How about when you are lonely? How many of you have ever felt loneliness? Okay. What do you mean by lonely? Means like you are alone. When you pray together with your friends, how do you feel? Good. How about when you come back at home, when you are alone, how do you feel? How do you feel? Lonely. How about when you are tired, what do you do? Okay, let's do it together. Can we read together? Hungry, angry, lonely, tired. Okay, can you please read? Hungry, angry, lonely, tired. Okay. What do you do when you are hungry? You try to find some food. And then when the food is not ready, how do you feel? Hungry. Hungry and disappointed, right? How about when you feel lonely? What happened? Tired. When you are tired, what do you do? Sleep. Okay, good. When Jesus is hungry, what did Satan tell him to do? Okay. Turn the stone to bread. Okay. Did Jesus obey Satan? Did Jesus obey Satan? No. Why? Please repeat after me. Man does not live. By bread alone. One more time. Man does not live by bread alone. But by the living word of God. Okay, very good. So I'm going to talk about two different groups today. These two groups, come on. One. Another one. In Exodus 16, what happened was that when the Israelites became angry, they complained. When Jesus was hungry, he did not complain. It says that it is written in the Bible. So today, I would like to consider these two things. When the Israelites became hungry, what did they do? Say they complained. Okay, what did the Israelites do when they are hungry? They complain. How about when Jesus is hungry? What did he do? Please repeat after me. He was, say, closer to God. He did not get angry, but he is closer to who? God. How about you? What should you do when you get angry? What should you do? Pray to God. Closer to God. How about the Israelites? What did, what did happen? When they were hungry, what did they do? Complain. Angry. Okay. May the Lord bless you. Okay. Which one do you want to be? Like Jesus or like the Israelites? Jesus. Do you want to complain or do, I, do you want to praise God? Praise God. Okay. Very good. These two. Number two. Okay. You, come on. Oh, <laughs> very good. In the book of Genesis chapter 4, there was a man named Cain. C-A-I-N. Say Cain. 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 He was very, very angry because he, what did he do? He killed his brother. Before he killed his brother, what did they do together? They made a sacrifice to the Lord. And... What did they do? They gave offering to the Lord. Come on, you. Mm, you are his brother. Okay, I'm going to give you some examples. Here. They both gave to the Lord the offering. Come on, here. And the Lord accepted the offering of who? Abel. And the Lord rejected whose offering? Cain. And Cain was, Cain was very, very angry. Okay, I'm going to ask you. Why was Cain angry? Why did he get angry? 
because he wanted to get picked. Okay, so let's say, if, if both of them, if the Lord rejected, let's say, please repeat to me. If the Lord rejected, what would happen? Like Cain's offering, and also if he accept, uh, rejected Abel's also. If both were rejected, how would Cain feel? He would say, sad, or what would it be? He would say, okay, both of us didn't get through. But what happened? When only Abel's offering was accepted, he got what? Jealous, right? Okay, is jealousy good or bad? Bad. And then after he got jealous, what happened? He killed his brother. The Lord said, you know, you should not get angry. Do it one more time. I'm going to give you one more chance. And what did he say? No. No? No. Yeah. And then he killed his brother. Is it good? Bad. Do you want to be like, when you get angry, do you want to commit sin? No. no. And in 2 Kings chapter 5, there was a man named called Naaman. And he was also very angry. Why? Because he thought that Elisha would come and pray for him. But did Elisha pray for him? No. What did he say? Just get yourself into the Jordan River and dip yourself for how many times? Seven times. And he was very angry because he was very proud. I am a general and I don't want to dip myself inside this Jordan River because our water there were cleaner. And then what did they do? But his followers said, they said, no, you should humble yourself. You should humble yourself. And he said that, okay. 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 I will humble myself. I'll humble myself. I will not be proud. I'll not be proud. I will obey. I will obey. The prophet. The prophet. Advice. Advice. And then he dipped inside how many times? Seven times. And then his skins were healed. And he was totally free from what? Leprosy. Okay. Now there are two. Two angry men. One angry man is who? Cain. And then another angry man is who? Naaman. Did he handle his anger well? Bad. Say bad. Bad. How about Naaman when he was angry? How did he handle? With humbleness. Say humbleness. Please repeat after me. When I get angry, I will humble myself. I will make peace with God. I will make peace with other people. Okay, very good. Now we have how many examples? One is that the Israelites and who? Jesus. When the Israelites get hungry, what did they do? Complain. When Jesus was hungry, what did he do? He is closer to God. When Cain got angry, what did he do? He didn't forgive his brother and he didn't forgive God. He committed sin. Do you want to be like Cain? No. How about Naaman? When he was angry, what did he do? He humbled himself and then he got clean. Okay. So, which one do you should choose? You want to be like Naaman or Cain? Naaman. Okay. I'm going to write it down here. Two examples. Okay. Two hungry men. Who are two hungry people? No, hungry. Jesus versus Israel. Okay. When they are hungry, what did they do? Jesus, he is closer to God. How about the Israelites? When they are hungry, what did they do? Complain. How about when Cain, uh, let's say, when Cain got angry, Angry. What did he do? He killed his brother. But when Naaman got angry, what did he do? He humbled 
himself. Okay, third, loneliness. Wow. What did they do? When David was lonely, what did he do? He committed that sin because what did he do? He was looking at other things, bad things. So do you want to be like that? No. How about when you are lonely, what did you do? You are playing games all the time, right? And you are, yeah, you are doing what? Crazy things. Do you want to be like that? No. When Daniel was lonely, what did he do? He prayed to God. How many times? Three times a day. And he gave thanks to God. Okay. So today, our lesson is this. When you are hungry, remember Jesus and the Israelites. The Israelites were complaining. But Jesus was rooted in the word of God. Jesus was closer to God. When Naaman was angry, he humbled himself and he received healing. When Cain was angry, he did not want to humble himself. Okay. And then when David was lonely, he was looking at bad stuff and he committed sin. But when, this is Daniel, okay. When Daniel was lonely, what did he do? He prayed. Okay. One more time. I'm going to ask. When the Israelites were hungry, what did they do? They complained. When Jesus was hungry, what did he do? Closer to God. When Cain was angry, what did he do? He killed his brother. Is it good or bad? Bad. Say bad. But when Naaman was angry, what did he do? He humbled himself and smiled and obey and received healing. Okay. When David was lonely, what did he do? He did bad stuff. We're gonna, uh, I'm not telling the details. Bad stuff. How about when you are lonely? When you are alone, what did you do? TV games all the time. Is it good or bad? Bad. And you, you are watching bad pictures. Is it good or bad? Bad. And also when you are lonely, what did you do? You are watching crazy things. Is it good or bad? Bad. When Daniel was lonely, what was he doing? He was praying to God, giving thanks to God. Is it good? Okay. Do you want to be like Daniel? Yes. Do you want to be like Naaman who was able to handle his anger very well? Yes. Do you want to be like Jesus? Yes. If you want to be like that, please stand up. I'm going to pray for you. Okay, one more time. When Cain was angry, what did he do? He killed his brother. Is it good or bad? Bad. How about when Naaman was angry, what did he do? He humbled himself and received healing. Okay, when David was lonely, what did he do? He did bad stuff. But when Daniel was lonely, what did he do? He prayed to God and then giving thanks. Okay. If you want to be like that, I'm going to pray for you. Close your eyes, everybody. Close your eyes. Come on. Five, four, three, two, one. Heavenly Father, today we learned that you have given us the opportunity to choose. Help us to choose your way wisely. We pray that you would bless us. And you would empower us to be like Jesus. Even when he was hungry, he is closer to God. We want to be like Naaman. Even when we get angry, we don't want to commit sin. But we want to humble ourselves and come back to you and receive your blessings. We don't want to be like David when he was lonely. He committed sin. But we want to be like Daniel. Help us to connect with God. Bless all these young people and also their parents and everyone. We pray that your favor will go with us in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Very good. Thank you. May the Lord bless you. Yes. When you are hungry, what should you be like? You will be like, okay, Jesus. Ooh, yes, yes.